Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. This is going to be another quick debugging video. And this is also a follow-up video to one of our last debugging videos on how to fix common problems using the IL2 CPP option. On August 1st, Google updated some of their policies related to APKs that we upload to the Google Play Console. In the past, we were able to upload just 32-bit APKs using the mono option, but now they require 32 and 64-bit architectures. In my other video, I showed you how to set this up, but that was before they made the changes. And now since they've made the changes, there's one more thing that you should know regarding the setup for Android builds in Unity. Now by default, when you set your scripting background to IL2 CPP, you should already have 32 and x86 selected by default. And all you had to do in the past was select the 64-bit option. Then you were able to build your APK and upload it without getting any errors or warnings. But now when you try to upload your APK or your app bundle, you might get this error here saying that your package is not compatible with the 32-bit. This error is really frustrating as it doesn't give you very much information and you know that your APK should be good for both 32 and 64-bit as both those options are selected. To find the answer, I had to do a Google search and filter the search results down to the last month, and I ended up finding this form. Now the problem actually has nothing to do with the 32-bit option or the 64-bit option, but instead it has to do with the x86 option that Unity has selected by default. So if you disable this option and do another build and then re-upload the APK, it should no longer give you any errors. Now you might wonder, what about all the Android devices that run on x86? Won't you just be eliminating those devices from being able to download your game? And the answer is yes, but according to this form, only 4% of Android devices actually run on x86, which is pretty minuscule and probably not worth worrying about, at least until there are more x86 devices or Google fixes the problem. Now if you've run into this problem before and you found a different way to fix it, then please share it with us in the comments below. Until then, this is how we'll have to deal with this problem. Now I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.